this is a Fu Manchu! In the spirit of today's review subject, I think we should have a very quick review. So let's go check it out, shall we? I mean, it probably won't be any quicker than any of my normal reviews, and it'll probably be as long as all the other... But I, I, I was just trying to make a joke, let's go! Today's review will be on the Soso Toys, or as I like to say, Susu Toys, because that's Susu, that is not Soso. Maybe it's so so I don't know, but I like that flash symbol behind there, behind their logo. That is awesome. And this is a review for the Speed Silver 2.0 one six scale figure, otherwise known as Quicksilver, played by Evan Peters from the movies X Men: Days of Future Past, Apocalypse, and Dark Phoenix. Now. All of his scenes in those movies are very quick, <laughs> pun intended, but you know what? This outfit that this figure is wearing is actually in a blink and you miss it moment from Deadpool 2. So yeah, he's actually in Deadpool 2, also in the background, very fast. But he is very fast, so maybe he was in it through the whole time and we just didn't see him. Looking at the back of the package, you've got the Speed Silver 2.0 logo. You got a photo of the X Mansion right there, a warning and a notice, but not a way on how to pronounce Susu, Susu, Susu. I don't know. Now, I've been wanting a Quicksilver figure ever since I saw him in Days of Future Past, and also I love Evan Peters in American Horror Story, so man, I cannot believe I finally got a figure of him. So I say we waste no more time, and I say we open it! Now, the box lid opens like a shoe box, and when you look underneath, you find this really awesome paper insert with artwork of Quicksilver. This looks so cool, it should have been on the front of the box. But because it's on a paper insert, you could always put it in a frame and put it on your wall. That would be really cool, because I think it really does look that good. And it's so awesome that Susu or So So Toys included this, because I absolutely love it. But if we look underneath, let's see what we find. We find a clear plastic tray with the figure and all of its accessories inside. Now, it is worth noting that the inside of the box here is very plain. It's just white behind the figure. And these little baggy accessories here are taped to the outside of the tray. So they're not underneath the tray where they could be between the space between the box and the tray itself. They're just taped to the outside, which is kind of strange. But honestly, I mean, what's a box supposed to do besides get your figure to you in one piece? So, I mean, what more could you ask for a box? So let's pull this figure out and check him out. What do you say? So here's the figure fresh out of the package. Now, first impressions, this figure is awesome. There are a lot of pros and very few cons. And you know what? This thing looks so cool. Now, I didn't say this before I opened the box, but when I got the box in the mail, this box is really heavy. And, you know, Quicksilver as a character isn't as big as, say, you know, Ben Affleck's Batman. So I think a lot of the weight from the box is actually coming from the fact that he includes this stand. Now, the stand looks like it's made out of metal, but it's not. It's made out of plastic, and it looks so good. But yeah, this figure is very heavy duty. I mean, it is made really well, and this outfit is incredible. But we'll talk about that in a minute. First, let's look at this head sculpt. This looks absolutely amazing. They got his hair, the right sculpt, the way it's painted, the silver eyebrows, the dark eyes, the fact that he has the way his skin's painted or whatever. He even has stubble and stuff. That looks so good. But yeah, that is definitely Evan Peters as Quicksilver. That looks so good. But yeah, they nailed it. I love the fact that he has his hair sculpted because a few of the other figures actually have like the rooted hair and it looks good, but you know, it's kind of probably hard to keep it looking the way his looked in the movie. And if you look carefully right there by his ear, you can see a little notch where his glasses are going to plug into. And he's actually got this one over here hidden behind some fringe on the front of his hair. And that is so cool indeed. But yeah, this head sculpt is amazing. And like I said, I've wanted a Quicksilver figure for so long. This one is well worth the wait. It looks so good. Now, down here to his outfit. One of the things that I am totally surprised by is the fact that they actually spelled Nirvana right. Now, usually with these third-party figures, they'll, like, you know, misspell it on purpose so they can't get in trouble and stuff. But nope, they spelled Nirvana absolutely right, and they actually used the little smiley face logo and everything. That is so cool. Plus, it looks, like a, it looks and feels like a real T-shirt shrunk down. And speaking of which, that leather jacket, that leather jacket feels soft and just like a real leather jacket. I mean, it is spot on the way it feels, and it does not feel like a cheap coat at all. This is so cool. I've had, you know, polyurethane leather jackets and stuff that felt, you know, cheaper than this. This feels like real leather. That is awesome. Now, his jeans down here, if you've ever bought a pair of brand new blue jeans or whatever, you know they feel kind of like, I don't know, kind of crusty or kind of um, hard, I guess, you know, because they haven't been washed yet. That's what these jeans feel like, and that is so cool indeed. Now, that doesn't mean you can't, you know, they don't look natural or anything, because as you can see there, they look very natural. Uh, but yeah, that's what they feel like to me. 
Down here it is shoes. I cannot believe they actually have the Nike Swish logo there on there. Now there's no paint to bring it out or anything like that, but you know what? Doesn't matter. They're just a pair of black shoes with black laces. Almost looks like the treads are painted gray, and that's really cool. But yeah, those look so good indeed. Now flipping the figure around to look at the back of him, and you can see his hair sculpt there looking very cool indeed. You got the back of his jacket. Now there's no logos or anything like that, no other designs. And the back of his jeans there looks so cool. But yeah, they did a great job. Now, I said there are a lot of pros and a very few cons. Now, one of the cons is underneath here, he does not have socks on. So if you pose him in a weird way, you're probably going to see that he doesn't have socks on. But you can add socks if you have some from another figure, you know, those half socks or whatever. Another con would be he doesn't include his Walkman. Man, I wish he had his Walkman because, I mean, he's always listening to it and this figure does not include it. I guess you can steal Star-Lords or something, but it would have been cool to get the Walkman too. And uh, I'm sure there's another con that I'm forgetting, but honestly, this thing looks so just amazing. I don't care what other cons there are. It looks so good and I'm so happy with it. As for his other accessories, besides the stand, he includes these two fisted hands for punching Apocalypse in the face. He also includes these two T-1000-esque style running hands, which is really cool. And the rest of his accessories are in little plastic bags. Now these two bags are identical and they include extra boots to go with his X-Men outfit. And that is so cool. Plus he includes his goggles. Now I say we remove these from the bags and get a better look at them. Now, the boots themselves come in two pieces. You've got the upper and the lower. And as you can see, these are painted very awesome. They're all dirty looking and muddy splattered and stuff. That is so cool. Now, when you put the two pieces together, what you get is a boot that looks a lot like this. And man, that looks so good. I honestly kind of wish his other shoes had been painted all splattered like this. But, you know, too, I like them being clean. So, you know, you can't have it both ways. But this looks so good, man. I absolutely love it. Plus, since it's in two pieces, you'll get way better articulation with it. And that is awesome. Now, those extra boots are meant to go with this X-Men outfit. And that is totally awesome. They didn't need to include this, but I'm so glad they did. Now, these are super soft. They feel like pajamas or something like that. And they look so cool. As you can see, they're form-fitting to the uh, figure or whatever because they're super tight looking. They've got a working zipper there. And yeah, the material they use, the way it's got like that waffle pattern or whatever in it, that looks so good. Now also, it also included this muscle shirt here that goes underneath it. And that's pretty awesome as well. Now this thing feels very silky and that is so cool. So yeah, to get the boots and the extra outfit, that is so cool. Now I'm gonna keep him in his street clothes, but the option, all you need is another body and another head. I mean, you got the boots, the extra hands and stuff like that. So yeah, if I can get another head, I'll make another figure. That is awesome. Last up, here's what the goggles look like on his head. And these look amazing. Not only do they fit him perfectly, but I love how they attach there in his hair. And then over here, you've got the other arm of the glasses or goggles hidden behind his hair. And that is so cool indeed. They did an amazing job. I think this figure is absolutely worth every penny. So there's my review of the Soso or Susu Toys Speed Silver 2.0 figure, otherwise known as Quicksilver. And man, this figure is amazing. Now I was so sad when I missed out on the original release of the Speed Silver figure. It looks so cool, man. I wish I had it in his silver, you know, leather jacket and stuff. But you know what? To me, this one's just as good, and I'm so happy I was able to get it, because honestly, it isn't very expensive at all. And I got lucky and found it. I thought it was pretty much sold out everywhere else, but I found it recently, and I'm so glad I did, because it is awesome. So, until next time, tune in for more Foo Reviews! <laughs> Hey, this is Nolan North. You don't want to miss Foo Reviews. And I'm out!